Pokey machines at the gates only in Nevada. What do you think of Chicago so far? But you've you've been here like a full minute now. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Hey, what are you doing? Sit down. Chicago and Chicago see what we can Chicago find. Okay. I couldn't think of any more go puns. You're a pun. Pun you. Welcome to Chicago. There's the Trump Tower. I can't tell you what anything else is because it doesn't have a big label on it. Oh, I can tell you. Oh, yeah? yeah? That, that's a big clock. That's a big clock. It's pretty cool. The architecture here is quite amazing. I don't know what that is. Oh, this one? That's, that's eaten corn off the top. It's eaten corn. Yeah, the corn's been eaten. Okay. <laughs> You're right, it looks a bit like a corn cob. So where are we, Sarah? Millennium Park. And what can you tell me about it? We've got nice grass. We've got a fountain. Very nice grass, very nice fountain. That's about it. We've got lots of big buildings surrounding it. Now, we're looking for a big bean, aren't we? Yep. Alright, let's find a bean. I hope it's a baked bean because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hey, didn't we see a face just like that in Seattle? Yeah, that's why I said, are we back in Seattle? Weird, man. The ice cream is Oh, yeah. yeah that's Little what, baby. Yeah, that's why I said in Seattle. Is it? Hello. Hmm. Hold on, Dad. We gotta wait and see what they do when they shoot up water. Looking weird. I find it a bit creepy. Why do they have you these? You find everything creepy. Yeah, but why do they have these men's faces watching children play in the water? It doesn't sound right, doesn't it? It doesn't. But it looks a lot of fun. Like on yeah, a, it does. Aside from the on faces. On a hot day, this would be awesome. Who needs a swimming pool? You just come here. You could lie down in that. Get drenched by the creepy man. This thing's crazy. How do they clean this thing? <coughs> That's true. How is this not covered in virgin? They'd have to clean it. There's birds on top. And you can see people try and get their handprints as high as they can. Where's that? There we are. I find it kind of hard to walk away from this bean. It's really mesmerizing. And everyone wants to just gravitate towards it. I guess it's like when kids realize they're in reflection. It's just the adult version of that. I know, right? It's crazy to go and stand in front of it and wave in it at a park. Yeah. Because it's this big sculpture. But everywhere you go around it is a different view, yeah. a different angle, and you don't know what you're seeing. What do you think of the bean? Huh? A wedding? No way! How cool would your wedding photos be with this thing? I reckon that's the weirdest spot right there. Middle? There, yeah, is that the middle? Yeah. So when we're over at the bean before, just sort of people watching and looking at the bean and 
what everyone's doing and all that sort of stuff and suddenly I'm looking over at this girl because she had, let's be honest, really horrible looking jeans on but suddenly I see this guy come up behind her and I didn't really get the feeling that they knew one another they, I don't know, they just didn't get that feeling and it looked like he was about to put his arm around her when I noticed that her bag was wide open and he was about to pickpocket her luckily she realised and jumped around and said what are you doing and he just said oh sorry, sorry, not watching as if he just crashed into her, yeah right and then he wandered off and I thought oh, okay, that's not good the girl doesn't close her bag. She goes off, has a few photos, still laughing away, kind of shakes her head to her friend as if, oh that was weird. I don't know what that is but it looks like something out of Alien. It's about to come in alive and eat us. <laughs> that answers that. Well, he's it's a big theatre. 14 years and I thought the, um, the red state doesn't believe, believe in terms Looks like something might be happening tonight. He was, uh... <laughs> She's got a hope so, otherwise it's going to be here for... I don't know. They They're wouldn't be here for fun, would they? Yeah. Well, it's a pretty impressive yeah. arena. Yeah. I'd hang out here. Yeah. Uh, we went in search of the deep dish pizza, which uh, Chicago is famous for. And so we've come down to Lou, Lou Malnati's. Come down to Lou Malnati's to get what is considered the signature deep dish pizza in Chicago. So it was actually a 45 minute wait when we rocked up. Sarah's actually a bit hangry. No, I said tang I said tang um, tungry. Tungry? Yeah. It was tired and hungry. And hangry? No. Just hungry. Just hungry, just tired and hungry. It sounds like you. And this is the deep dish pizza we're talking about. How is it Sarah? So far I've just had cheese. You're hungry, 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 whatever it is, so. Hungry. Hungry. Still just cheese and sausage. Get in there. So much cheese. This pizza is kind of more like. Um, I reckon, or a pie. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm stuffed. Yeah. I'm about ready to fall over and die. And wake up tomorrow. I feel like a walking piece of cheese. Cheese. suitcases and there's no escalator or lift or anything like that so we're coming down these steps like these wooden steps with two cases uh, it was kind of fun